Today, we're going to be doing a recommended video. And when I say that this video was recommended, I mean like it was really recommended in my comment sections every chance they had. So this video is for you, buddy. You know who you are and I hope you enjoy. We're going to be watching the tank, Javante Davis. Enjoy. Well, Steve, it's a chance for us to see a guy that uh, Floyd Mayweather told us was his brightest prospect. The guy oh, by the name of Javante Davis who takes a size oh, step Floyd's up. Prospect. Floyd's taking every down. opportunity all week to... Uh, his latest protege. Davis is Mike Tyson's favorite fighter. And oh, and Mike Tyson's favorite Southpaw fighter. Okay. Powerhouse. Gervonta Davis. This is the guy Ryan Garcia fought, What we right? saw in a very limited time <laughs> yes. of Gervonta Davis was quite impressive. And what we saw from Dulai, uh, he came into the ring with the nickname The Terror. I think he left the ring yeah. with the nickname The Terrified. <laughs> well, he's named The Terror? Surviving on the tumultuous oh, streets of inner city That's Baltimore, true, he does look terrified. He a rare toughness in Davis. Like much of America, this is a story of two worlds. Well, Gervonta's West Baltimore neighborhood story. typically presented just two outs for young men. Damn. Jail or death. Despair is a way of living. I read where you said, boxing helped save my life. Davis found refuge from the streets. Wow. Inside looks... the squared circle. Wow. You know, one time I fought in front of my house and my uncle same we fight and he you wanted to tank. you know turn something negative to positive tank turned pro wow. at 18. fighting out of Yo, baltimore maryland introducing Javante belts man when he walked into floyd's gym for the first time so he said oh you're the one i've heard huh? about floyd he looks pretty chunky here not gonna lie mm. six first round knockouts floyd himself said he saw something Oh, he has such a wide leg stance for some reason. I mean, for Davis me, was so that's the first thing I noticed. Out of the gate. His stance that was like a big weather took an active apart. interest in him. Put 12 of his 13 professional opponents out early by knockout. Five a six, national man. TV yeah, audience. Sure. His hero, his mentor, Floyd Mayweather, sitting ringside. It must be sick to have uh, Floyd as your uh, mentor, man. Mr. Davis he can learn so much. Everybody says he has. <laughs> Ooh, you can hear that. Can him hear and that. Him. His ringside man is the greatest. Look at Floyd Mayweather in between rounds, coaching up his young protege. Mayweather promotions helped lift Davis's name from obscurity to superstar. Oh yeah, he's got the energy now. He's got the focus. And those shorts are way too baggy. Sell. And he is all about that knockout power. Sanchez, first knockdown of the fight. And Javante Davis enjoyed it. I think he just needs better shorts, man. Those shorts are way too baggy. It's not 2005, man. That looks like a skirt now. And the kill to put the strike. Quick power. Sanchez flat on his face. Why does a crowd seem so like low energy, man? I'm guessing he's still not like famous. You have quick power like that. He's full the boy with a smile ear to ear. Sanchez leaving profusely in the ring. He's yeah. still undefeated. Gervonta. Oh, Gervonta. Davis. One of the great notions in boxing is the romance of seeing a future champion at a tender young age. The 21-year-old on the right side of the screen gets his old. toughest Fortune test right wow. now. This isn't the kind of fight Avila wants. A toe-to-toe, -to -toe power punch kind of brawl. Wow. Oh, he's so close. He's tight. He's tight. One of his nicknames, the tank, the tank. He said it was actually a, a coach in his youth who just said his head was as big as a tank. Davis opened a cut over Avila's eye. His head's as big as a tank. That's how he got his nickname. Yo, his face is red like his shorts, bro. For a small dude, you can, oh, you can, oh, fight. dude, punching it was bag a right lot there. Of, it was a lot of, he too young. He don't have that many fights. Damn, David. Look at those dodges, too. Yo, he's getting pounded in the face. Those gloves look big, too. 
Tank Davis was spectacular. Wow, he has really good feeling. Back down to cover up his midsection, exposes the head. The crowd senses something here. Oh, the guy can't do anything. He Every time he moves, he just gets hit with one of his punches. Whoa, perfect timing. Drops him. You're going to have an answer. Oh, some showboating here. Michelle Myers has seen enough. It is over. Yeah, that guy just got seen. Davis bounces up and down. I think he's the most exciting fighter in the world, partly because he's vulnerable. By TKO, still undefeated, Trevante Paul wow. Davis. He has not lost as a pro. 15 wins, 14 knockouts. He's only 21 years old. But again, now when I look at Davis, I mean, his potential is off the chart. Nine. We get a first round look 15, at one of the most hyped prospects knockouts. in the division. Damn. That's how Leaping right hook. 40 seconds into the first round. Gone. Is he gone? Yo, he looks shook. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's down. A new deer got born. And the name Sandy Davis would get his title shot. All right, guys, how far away? Six months, a year, two years before we can start saying a title contender. I'm saying he's a title hey, contender right the guy now. He's the right getting up, uh, man. What you I'm call him a champion or a proven veteran to give him the work that he needs. He'd take on Jose Pedraza for the IBF strap. The next young man I'm about to introduce, um, me and Floyd made a decision that it's time. You know, sometime in life you have to step up. And this is what it's all about, you know. Challenging yourself against the is this best. Is his first real fight? Is this like a big name now? Improving yourself. I don't know any of the modern the fighters. I know Javante and Ryan best, Garcia, have those two, they had a fight. Defeated IBF Junior but I don't really know Javante. Oh, this guy. Whoa, okay, so champion. Champion with a record, too. Nice. Pedraza was in his prime at 27 and was undefeated at 22. Ooh, but he's getting slapped. He has a nice uppercut, Davis. Oh, the other guys. Davis put together one devastating combination after the next. Oh, he went into it. He went into it. He went into Tank it. Oh, my God. used the stage of nice. his first Yo, title what? fight to announce to the boxing world a new king was rising. Yo. Yeah, his combos. He he does all angles. Those horizontal angles. He makes he makes him like Jesus on a cross. Crucifies him. Look at this. Dang. Dude, this guy just the spectacular knockout sent the crowd into a frenzy. Yo, this guy is beating on him. It's definitely the sound effects, but it looks like it's a beatdown. Like, he's outside, and he's just beating on somebody. Like, he's making the other dude seem defenseless, but this guy is, wow. Wow. The other guy is also has a good record. Like, he should be a good boxer, and this guy made him look weak. Obviously, it's just clips. Like, I didn't see the whole fight, but damn, that was a beating. Is this the future of boxing? Absolutely. Gervonta Davis to hear. was now a world champion. Next, he traveled to London to take on Liam Walsh. I don't know who, ooh, I don't know who this guy is. Accepting the challenge of a hostile crowd, Tank obliterated the hometown fighter. Dude, okay. Those have to be sound effects, right? Dude, he's, he's beating on kids. Not kids, but like, it seems like it. It seems like a schoolyard fight. Like, I don't know why, but it, it, it reminds me of like a brawl. It seems like he's actually just like, he continued his beating dominance people rather than just playing a game, you know, like, T-Pat KZ actually oh trained, has trained with him. He's like, you know, I'm, I'm telling you. As far as talent level, you've never seen anything like it. Like, he's such a monster. Wow. Wow, wow, Scoring wow, a wow. KO in wow. the eighth round. I just don't like how big in the pants and shorts are. I like a nice fitted. 
faded shorts. Is that back of the head? Why is he holding on? Undefeated and reigning WBA lightweight whoa, 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 whoa. champion. Why the ref push up, man? No need to push up. But is that technically behind the uh, like back of the head? WBA, a super featherweight championship of the world, is on the line. And we know he's also what getting he's got more in terms of power in both hands, and he comes forward. It ain't like he backs up. He stalks you, too, and he comes to finish you. They look defenseless I think about in defense days. mode. And that was a clinical destruction by Gervonta Tank Davis. He is now the WBA Super Featherweight Champion of the World, Gervonta Davis. He was now the WBA Super Featherweight Champion of the World. After a 10-month layoff, the tank returned oh, to the ring. Break. It's main event time. The Super Featherweight Championship of the World is on the line. He's enjoying, all, he is enjoying his bang that he received from all those fights. He showed me no signs of loss. Finishing Ruiz in the first round. Oh, Damn, that was a nice shot. Hey, right up there, Small yes. guy, man. He's strong. Yeah. <laughs> he accepts it. He's like, I'm not fighting you. I'm not going to fight you. 21 and 0. 20 by way of knockout. Not since Harry Jeffra, when he defeated Spider Armstrong as a fighter from Baltimore, defended a world title. He continued his knockout wave against Ricardo Nunez. Yeah, these guys were also, his opponents are like long, long, long arms, I was going to say, and this guy's just got sloppy. Wobbling Nunez. Yo, and he goes in! Another series of devastating headshots. My goodness. For God's sakes, he hits so hard that you don't get to see his full potential because he's hitting guys and it's over. You're like, all right, it's showtime! Yeah, he does hit well. Obviously, it's sound effects, Bell but it sounds one undefeated Gervonta Tank Davis in the rose gold with white. Oh, okay, his shorts are getting more and more ridiculous. Gamboa had an iron chin. Surviving one power shot after the next, Gamboa managed to go 12 rounds with Tank. Gamboa winning this round. And you can make the case for winning a Oh, there's a step in right hand by Tank Davis left. But you don't realize how good Tank is at boxing until you see him fight a much larger opponent. But in the 12th round, Davis put the finishing touches on his latest masterpiece. Oh, oh and down goes Gamboa! Whoop! There it is! Dude, this guy is nuts! He is still undefeated! Gervonta! This guy looks like a beast! 
face as well, and he got obliterated. Backyard bully right here. Yo, that must have been a good fight to see. If you like to see people get hit in the face, yo, this guy's your guy. I gotta see some like, knockout highlights. I guess this whole documentary is that. division world champion. He is the current WBA featherweight and super featherweight champion of the world, Leo. walked out in a sombrero this was in tribute to his mentor floyd money mayweather with the main event of the evening 12 rounds of boxing for the wba super featherweight Yo, the entrances are always so lit oh my god i just can't wait to see this guy get you know, wrecked by davis santa cruz you can get the feeling he thinks he can push davis back in this fight no man yeah no, i know why he's called the tank. Tank. tank delivered Blasting Cruz with one of the most devastating uppercuts in no, no, championship no, 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 no. history. Actually, let me see. Let me see this cannon of the hearts of champions. If Davis stops that, Cruz is going to fall. And then Tate ended it with the knockout of the year. And a year with a bunch of great knockouts. <laughs> oh, is his head is still intact to his body. Yo. Bro. It brought the crowd to a roar and Mayweather to his feet. Gervonta Tank Davis's 23rd knockout in his 24th professional fight. All Yo, I'm 24 speechless. wins. In the biggest fight of his life. I gotta Davis see Ryan next week. Two I gotta see like to challenge unbeaten super lightweight be champion Davis, man. Mario Barrios. Davis gave up nearly Ooh, six inches in height to Barrios. Super Mario but he Barrios is so tall. much bigger. Tonight, seeking his third division world title. But he Gervonta. is a giraffe. Yeah, but we got a tank. What's that tank? Gonna defeat. be to a giraffe. Both were multi-division oh champs. Oh, Expectations oh, are indeed high with Gervonta Tank Davis. Ready? <laughs> the bell and round one, Davis. Round one. Final 30 round seconds one. of the third round. In those first Dude, five he's, rounds, he's I can't. I would wow, maybe I give Gervonta two of those, maybe one of those. And Barrios with the jab instead. It's Barrios that sticks the sharp jab. Yo, these shorts are getting Yo, ridiculous. Fight, you're like, who's gonna win? It's like video it's game go cosmetics. He keeps getting clipped. It was a true dare to be great moment for the team. Yeah, because this guy's tall, bro. The pain doctor continued to coach to tank between rounds. Hey, he won't be the same fighter in three rounds. He running himself out. And you can see everything coming. Easy rounds to score with the exception of the sixth. I thought that was close. I have Barrios clearly ahead of Didn't feel strong by Barrios. Landed some big shots. Made it around. Trailing on the cards. An uppercut to the body. Oh, so he, he was trailing on the cards. We had to knock him out, huh? Sent Barrios to the canvas. He gets injured watching that. Could you imagine he gets injured from that? Wow. So he was actually losing that fight. Score-wise? With so he has to protection. unleash the cannon. <laughs> Mo Gervonta Davis is still a young fighter, but he's won at least Caesar. some form of a world title at three different weights, 130, 135, and 140. Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to Staples Center. In the boxing world, Davis has juice, and he's wandered to L.A., where Thank a star-studded crowd has congregated on Yo, a look Sunday at the crowd night now. at the Staples Center. Look at the crowd. And a nice left uppercut. Yo, his uppercut. I love uppercuts. He has a nice one. Absorbing Tank's best shots. Oh, it's probably training for the future in this fight. He wants to stop to his cheek to deliver it. Okay, okay. Good tactic, but he's going to cruise to put on a display of heart. Straight left. Upstairs scores for Davis. 
Yeah, see, he's like, he has his gloves glued to his face. He doesn't want to get knocked. They're glued. Look at that. He's glued. And showing his hands. He has to open up. But it's Davis that lands out. Yeah. No, where's the glove, bro? You got to glue it to your face. Tank Def won the decision. I guarantee you he was training. But his that KO just to cover his face was every time he punches. Javante Tank Davis overcoming. And still the undefeated WWE lightweight champion of the world. That's the thing. He had, his, he had his fist glued to his cheek, making sure that if he's going to go for an attack, he doesn't, he doesn't want to drop this. He wants to absorb as much as he can. A record sellout crowd on hand. Very Here smart. at the Barclays okay. Center as we approach I mean, our main he, he event of the evening. Against Romero, Tank returned to his knockout win. And here we go, round one. I just don't know any of the modern fighters, so I don't know how good they are. 70 people on hand. A record setting crowd at Barclays Center. Garcia in a final tune-up for the super fight with Ryan Garcia. No relation. The traditional man was just tied it up. For eight you rounds, can see it progressively to get more and more tied Garcia. Dropping the hammer, Garcia's knees buckled. They're all kidneys, but in this case, Garcia you made a happy legs. survived the round, but the fight was stopped by his corner. Really? This sets up the fight of the year. Tank Davis versus Ryan Garcia. I, I, Nobody Tank brings wins. it home like a Tank wins. Tank won that. Make it so. See, I didn't really know Javante Davis or Ryan Garcia before their fight. That's already passed. Obviously, we know who won and what everything ha that happened. But I didn't really know how good the two were. I just knew that like Tank Davis was like a knockout king. And then Ryan Garcia was just like that Instagram influencer type. So and it was like a super fight because I guess they were both really known. And then they got together and they were like, let's make history kind of thing. I just didn't know how dangerous man Javante Davis was like, that's insane. Who thought that Ryan Garcia was going to win? But I'm going to I'm going to hold those words next week i want to check out a video on ryan garcia if there even is one kind of watch how he boxes before i make my final decision but yo this guy's an animal this guy is a straight tank with cannons as his fists man just every time he lands that uppercut man buddy is gone blown to bits and that uppercut knockout the knockout of the year insane the guy's head twisted how is it still on his body bro anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video and buddy i did it I watched it. You were right. Guy's insane. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you're new to this channel, subscribe, like the video, and I'll check you guys on the next one. Cheers for now. Peace.